was when if I was uh, saying, man, I need you to audition uh -huh. uh, to be uh, to make a meal ticket yeah, right okay. now. What would be the song that you would sing, and how would you sing it to show you the song? Is. Yeah, give me a little bit of it. You ain't got to go long. Let's see. Let's see. Um, Say yes to this, cause this ain't so bad. Say yes to sex, even when we get mad. Say yes to kiss, one day we'll have. And say yes to love. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. There we go. Okay, that's what he. That's yeah. what he come out with. He want to sing a panties on. Your panties. Okay. I got to. You can't do that. You can't do it right. What man? You know what was the song that you, when you was when if I was uh, saying man I need you to audition uh -huh. uh, to be uh, to make a meal ticket yeah, right okay. now. What would be the song that you would sing and how would you sing it to show you the vocals. song? Yeah, give me a little bit of it. You ain't got to go long. Let's see. Let's see. Um, Say yes to this, cause this ain't so bad. Say yes to sex, even when we get mad. Say yes to kiss, one day we'll have. And say yes to love, and I'll say yes to that. Man, I like that, man. I like that. Say man. yes, baby. Can say, man, yes? that's dope, man. Thank so you. you, yeah, yeah, yeah. You gonna get in there then? That's that's what's gonna put you in there, man. I think. I think there's something about a person who can sing R&B in this day and time. You got some guys out here now that's, you know, they rapping and singing. You, I just interviewed T. Rail. I don't feel like you care enough. Only pay attention when I'm in a bitch. You think I'm a hoe? It really ain't fair to Just interviewed uh, uh, Derez Deshaun. Ain't gonna say no names. I know I made niggas. All these fucking chains like a slay nigga. I slay nigga. I made this. Okay. Like these guys are, are rapping, but they sing in a painful way and they mm -hmm. rap, but it's not R and B all the way. It's right. a different way that they do it. Are you trying to convert R and B into something else, or are you really trying to stay grounded in R and B? That's no, so I, I'm trying to convert it into something else. R and B obviously is my the soul and the heart of where I came from, but because I have this youthful energy to my life, uh, I feel like I'm transcending with each, each music change that goes on in the industry. Another love song. Okay. Like the music is constantly changing, and I feel like I'm constantly with that flow of ideas and how the world is shifting. Not another, Not another song. song. Yeah. Lights out. No games. Do you Whoa. think you have to change it because R&B is dead? Whoa. Whoa. No. Dead. I'm just you know what? It ain't never died. You know, it ain't never died to me. It's just not exposed the way we need to expose it. So, you know, just like when Usher did that little thing, that little thing he was singing, and everybody going crazy now. They ain't never been dead. Folks just ain't putting it out there like they should be. Because I see so many yeah. R&B um, artists changing it, not traditional R&B. They're changing it to more, whether pain music, I call it, because right. they're just singing with that pain. And it's not right. that love-making R&B. Mm -hmm. Everything is about pain and suffering and all of that. Yeah. I still love it. I like what the new people are doing. Like a lot of people what before us. Baby you making know, music. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. She came in a party all turned up. Cause she been in the house for a while. So colorful like Mardi Gras. Yeah, I'm doing it. <laughs> you know. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.